Hello and welcome back to Road Trippia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode, day number 328 of the 365 day trivia road trip. Today's quiz comes from Down Under. Jade and Mike from Sydney, Australia have sent in a 21 question random knowledge trivia quiz. We're going to play it today. There's 20 questions up front. There's a question 21 tiebreaker at the end of the episode if you need to stick around for that. Let's get started with question number one. The name of the brightest star in the night sky, Sirius, is derived from the Greek meaning glowing or scorching. It is visible from almost everywhere on Earth. For centuries it had been an important navigational marker for mariners. What name is it most commonly known as? By what name do we normally call Sirius? We know it as the Dog Star. Question number two. Separated from India by the Gulf of Manar and well known for producing the finest tea in the world is a small island country called Sri Lanka. It is sometimes referred to as the Teardrop of India. What was it formerly known as? Before it was Sri Lanka, what was it known as? Not its nickname, its actual name. The answer is Ceylon. Question number three. Originally performed on radio as My Favorite Husband, this much-loved and popular TV show, which has never been out of syndication, premiered on CBS in October of 1951 and ended its run in May of 1957. What was the name of this groundbreaking comedy show? The answer is I Love Lucy. Question number four. This traditional British steam pudding made with fat such as butter or suet and containing dried fruits is often served with custard. Dating from 1849, what is the name of this dish that has long been a source of amusement and double entendre? It will always get a giggle out of me. The answer is spotted dick or spotted dog. Question number five. According to the song written by Jackson Brown and Glenn Frey, if you're standing on a corner in Winslow, Arizona, which by the way, such a fine sight to see, there's a girl, my lord, in a flatbed Ford, and what is she doing? If you're standing on a corner in Winslow, Arizona, such a fine sight to see, there's a girl, my lord, in a flatbed Ford, and she's slowing down to take a look at me. Question number six, Manic Monday, one of the Bengals' best-known hits, which reached number two in the U.S. charts, was released in 1986. However, they were not the original artists that performed this song. Who originally wrote and recorded this popular tune? The answer is Prince. I did not know that. Question number seven. A compound word is two or more words linked together to produce a word with a new meaning. What word can you add to the front of the following words to produce a new word? Line, stone, way, dress, strong, light, first, rest, and wind. Looking for one word that works for all of them. The word we're looking for is head. Headline, headstone, headway, headdress. Question number eight. There are many amusing word plays in the English language. The following is one of these that read the same forward as backwards. An example of this is a man, a plan, a canal, Panama. What is this term that was introduced in 1638?
whether it's a word spelled the same forward or backwards or a whole sentence, it is known as a palindrome. Question number nine. There are many memorable last lines in movies. What is this one spoken by Joe E. Brown to Jack Lemmon's character Daphne in the 1959 Marilyn Monroe romantic comedy Some Like It Hot as they flee from the gangsters? One of the last line of that movie. He says, well, nobody's perfect and seen. Question number 10. Pop Music is a 1979 hit song by the English New Wave band M. It reached number one on the US Billboard Hot 100 and a line from this song mentions several cities including New York, London, Paris, and what other city? Unless you're familiar with the song, I don't think you would get it. The answer is Munich, which I would not put with the other ones, but Munich is the answer. Question number 11. Bell, Jalapeno, Sweet, Habanero, and Serrano are some of the best known peppers, but none of these are the hottest. Which pepper, rated the hottest in the world on the Scoville scale, is consumed by only the bravest in pepper eating contests? The name of that spicy pepper is the Carolina Reaper. Question number 12. The RMS Titanic sank in the North Atlantic Ocean while making its maiden voyage from Southampton to New York. 2,223 passengers and crew were on board, but only about 700 were saved. In what year did the Titanic sink? The answer is 1912. Question number 13. There are a lot of well-known acronyms. For example, digital video disc becomes DVD. There is also NATO, IBM, ASAP, and those frequently used in text communications LOL, LMAO, ROFL, and MIL. What does the popular social media acronym GRWM stand for? The answer is get ready with me. Question number 14. Cult classic The Rocky Horror Picture Show has regular midnight showings where fans dress as their favorite characters and perform along live with the movie. In the movie, what four-word phrase is posted on the billboard for Denton? The answer is the home of happiness. Question number 15. Dating from the late 12th century until they were abolished in the 1870s, these Japanese highly trained warriors were the well-paid protectors of the great feudal landholders. Adhering to a strict moral code called Bushido, who were these prestigious warriors? The answer is the Samurai. Question number 16. Jack Kerouac, a famous American novelist and poet, was considered to be the father of the beat movement and inspiring the counterculture of the 1960s. He authored many books, but what was his best known work published in 1957? The answer is On the Road. Question number 17. I arrived at the Pioneer Club in Las Vegas in 1951. I am still found there today. 
My arm used to wave and I would greet you with a howdy partner. Nowadays, I'm still and silent, but I stand tall at 40 feet on the Fremont Street downtown. Who am I? You can probably picture him. I think there's a picture of him on one of the Vegas quizzes, but his name is Vegas Vic. He's that tall neon cowboy. Question number 18. We all know Gumby, the green claymation boy and his horse Pokey that were created in 1953. But what was the claymation short that was featured on Saturday Night Live from 1976 to 81 that also featured a boy in his dog Spot? The answer is Mr. Bill. Question number 19. Those golden arches of McDonald's are instantly recognizable in more than 100 countries. Ronald McDonald is the well-known mascot of this restaurant chain, but before him there was another mascot from 1953 to 62. What was his name? Before Ronald McDonald, there was Chef Speedy, but that one didn't stick around. All right, question 20. This song, written and performed by American musician Billy Joel in 1989, contains brief references to about 120 significant political, cultural, scientific, and sporting events between 1948 and 1989. Nominated for a Grammy Award for Record of the Year, what was the name of this song? The name of that song is We Didn't Start the Fire. Now, this is, I think, a complete coincidence, but while I was assembling all of these trivia quizzes for while I'm home over the holidays, I was going through this trivia quiz and this question, the uh, we didn't start the fire question, was actually one of the earlier questions. But we also got sent a trivia quiz that we're going to play tomorrow that this question leads perfectly into because tomorrow's quiz was sent in by a viewer named John and he made a quiz that all of the questions or all of the answers come specifically from the song we didn't start the fire. So those 120 uh, significant political, cultural, scientific, and sporting events between 1948 and 1989. He's got a 21 question trivia quiz where all of the answers refer to one of those. So before tomorrow, we're going to play it tomorrow. So before tomorrow, your homework is to find some Billy Joel, crank that song up, and memorize it because all of those, the, all of the answers from tomorrow will be in that song. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Very unique quiz idea. All right, subscribe to the channel so you don't forget to come back and play it tomorrow and get ready for question 21, the tiebreaker for today. We know there are 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour and 24 hours in a day and seven days in a week. But how many minutes are there in one week? Closest player wins. In one week, there are 10,080 minutes. Whichever player got closest to 10,080 wins the point. If it was a tie, they just won the whole game. Congratulations, and check back here tomorrow for John's 21-question We Didn't Start the Fire trivia quiz. I'm really looking forward to that. I think you guys are going to love it.